So Microsoft's replacing the remote desktop with a new Windows app. So what's going to happen with that? Let's go ahead and talk about that. I use the remote desktop app to remotely connect uh, into my server at, at home. Um, and uh, so, there, I mean, there's other options out there to use uh, to be able to do that type of thing. Uh, let's talk about this. Microsoft is replacing the remote desktop app with this new Windows app. The remote desktop connection app that's built into Windows is, is sticking around, though. So let's talk about what they're doing here. Microsoft ending support of its remote desktop app for Windows on May 27th. If you use the remote desktop app to connect to Windows 365, Azure Virtual Desktop, or Microsoft DevBox machines, then you'll have to transition to the Windows app instead. The new Windows app, which launched in September, includes multi-monitor support, dynamic display resolution, and easy access to cloud PCs and virtual desktops. Microsoft says connections to Windows 365 Azure Virtual Desktop and Microsoft DevBox via the remote desktop app from the Microsoft Store will be blocked after May 27, 2025. Um, so the existing remote desktop app is not to be confused with Microsoft Remote De Desktop Connection app that has shipped inside Windows for more than 20 years. This app will continue to exist in Windows 11 after May 27th. And Microsoft says it can still be used to connect to machines until the remote desktop protocol, RDP, is supported in the Windows app. The mention of RDP support could mean Microsoft will eventually support personal accounts in its Windows app. You can only currently use the Windows app if you have a work or school Microsoft account, despite Microsoft's long-term ambition of moving Windows fully to the cloud to enable improved AI services and full roaming of people's digital experience. So for me, this won't change much uh, because I'm using RDP uh, and I'm, I'm going to be fine. But for some people, this may be a concern. Uh, that being said, uh, better, more functional remote connection capabilities is always a good thing. So I'm happy that they're moving forward in development, maybe making a better remote connection uh, option for us, for our devices uh, when it comes to this type of thing. Um, you guys, uh, if you do uh, any remote desktop uh, stuff, uh, what kind of software do you use? Comment down below and let me know. Maybe there's something I'm not using that I might like better than what I'm doing now. Uh, I'm more than willing to check out new programs and new software, especially if you know one of you are using it and you like it. I would be happy to try it out and then maybe even do a video on it um, because I'm all about trying to bring you the very best uh, information I can. And in order to do that, sometimes getting help from the audience is, is a great way to do that so um hopefully this video was uh, helpful for you um if it was leave a thumbs up if not let me know in the comments as well why you didn't like it and i will go ahead and try to do better in my upcoming videos and give you better content and better information um you guys all have a great day see you in the next one bye